All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a thumb bow. You need a, a good three yards for the loops for the whole bow. I usually do six loops plus uh, the thumb little center loop. And uh, it's preferable if you cut a piece of wire, your wire, uh, 10 inches before you start making your bow because it'll be difficult because you're going to be holding all of the bow between your thumb and your index finger. I'm right-handed so I hold it always, make my bow on my left hand. All right, well, let's get started. It depends on where you're going to put your bow for the length of your tail. So for average, it's about, a, I'd say, nine inches for the loop. And it's always preferable to buy ribbon that is edged in wire so your loops stay better. All right, we'll start by holding again your ribbon and crunching it up between your thumb and your index finger. You're gonna make that little, little loop to cover your thumb. So then you, again, you're going to gather it always between your thumb and your index finger. Now I'm going to make the first loop. And again, and judging where you're putting it, how big your loop is. If it's a smaller wreath or placing it on a small package, you're going to make a smaller loop. But if it's going to be on a, a good size wreath, your loops should be larger. Again, it's proportion. So this is my first real loop besides my thumb little loop, the center of the bow. And now your second, I always do it uh, on the opposite side of my first loop. You try to gauge or eyeball the size to sort of be the same length. And that does help. And I'm twisting. And now I'm going to go to the opposite end. And again, three yards to make a, a good size bow. And that will be with six loops. And don't worry about trying to arrange it. Once you put the wire in through here and not the back, then you can play with your loops and if you don't like the way the loop is at the time. But once it's wired, they're not going to move. So opposite end. So now I have four loops. And you can stop at four loops if you like. It's okay. It doesn't, there's nothing uh, that says you have to make six loops. You can do three loops, four. You can do more than six. So there's my fifth one. And like I said, we'll play with it after I put the wire to hold all the loops together. You can arrange the loops afterwards. All right, there's my sixth loop. So now I'm going to make cut the tail approximately the same length or you can make it longer. Longer looks uh, very elegant as well. And have a scissor handy. And you can always cut it longer, I mean shorter, after you put the wire through. Now the wire, as you see, I have the whole bow between my index finger and my thumb. And now you feed the wire through the thumb loop and towards the back. And this is the hardest thing to do is to get it tight around the wire. All right, let's see if that worked. And twist, twist, twist. All right, looks like it's all held together, all the loops. And now it's time to play with the loops. And you can arrange them however you want. 
because they're going to stay together. Alright, this is the fun part. After you did all that work, holding the ribbon together. Alright. And placing it around to see if they're all. Oh, here's one loop behind there. You're hiding. Come on out. can also, if you would like, the tails you can do shorter or you can do the pointed one. That gives it another little twist to your bow. And you can just fold it and then And there you have a thumb bow. You can play with it still, put it on your wreath or a centerpiece or a package. And if you need more wire, if this is too short, you can always add more wire to the back of your bow or you can thread it through the front but longer and not use this to tie it to your wreath but use the longer wire and it'll attach easily. You'll need as long as I don't know how big your wreath would be but you can the wire is terrific. Love wire. Alright hope you are successful in your bow making.